On September 5, 1977, under a clear sky, something extraordinary happened in the space above. A spacecraft named Voyager 1 lifted off the Earth like a bright star rising into the dawn air. This robotic explorer, no bigger than a small car parked in a garage, set its engines roaring on the launch pad with incredible power. Its bold mission was to journey beyond planets, crossing vast fields of cosmic dust to reveal secrets never before seen by human eyes. Voyager 1 aimed to explore Jupiter and Saturn, along with their moons and swirling rings bright as snowflakes frozen in the night. With its twin, Voyager 2, it performed beautiful flybys, snapping images through high-tech lenses that shimmered like eyes reflecting the stars. What began as a planetary mission quickly transformed into a voyage across the cosmic void, changing history forever as it drifted past known frontiers like a lonely ship on a dark sea. The spacecraft became a storyteller, sending back tales from the edge of our solar horizon to the blue sky of Earth. In the early 1980s, Voyager 1 shared dramatic imagery of Jupiter's swirling storms, including the massive red spot, like a spinning ocean that never sleeps. That spot was so enormous that three Earths could have fit inside its whirling clouds, which rolled endlessly in the black. It also captured volcanic eruptions on Io, a moon of Jupiter, where fountains of fire sprayed over a rocky landscape that glowed in the darkness. Voyager 1 sent back images of Saturn's icy rings, haloed in silver against the deep space and Titan, Saturn's largest moon, wrapped in golden fog like a hidden world behind a curtain. What made Voyager 1 truly exceptional, was its continued journey far beyond its original mission boundaries. Though its five-year plan had ended, Voyager drifted deeper into the darkness, still sending its delicate signals back to Earth, across miles of silence. By 2012, it crossed the invisible helipause, the frontier where the solar wind meets the interstellar cloud, a place so far that no other human-made object had ever passed. Out there, temperatures sink near absolute zero, and cosmic rays dance like invisible ghosts through silent dust. Even though physics remains the same, new behaviors appear like hidden notes in an endless song. Voyager 1, now more than 14 billion miles away, keeps sending fragile messages across the heavens, like a soft whisper drifting through the cold. It takes over 22 hours for each message to travel through the wide heavens before it touches the listening dishes of NASA's deep space network. This network, with its giant antennas, waits patiently across the Earth's terrain, gathering every signal as though it were a precious gem hidden in the radio waves. The data recently sparked new discussions among astrophysicists, their minds glowing like curious lamps in the night. Physicist Michio Kaku explained that Voyager detected plasma oscillations in the ionized gases floating between stars. These waves ripple through the void more intense and frequent than scientists once expected, as though the emptiness was actually alive with energy. The space between stars appears full of unseen movement, an ocean where invisible currents twist and swirl. Voyager 1 also records magnetic fields, some chaotic and tangled like roots under ancient trees, others smooth and repeating like the rhythm of a calm wind. Scientists wonder if Voyager senses remnants of supernovae or even faint traces of elusive dark matter, drifting quietly across the Black Sea. Even stranger are the unexpected distortions in some signals, like a mysterious echo bouncing from somewhere unknown. Some believe it's just interference from cosmic rays, streaking past Voyager's delicate antennas. Others whisper that maybe it's a mystery beyond natural explanation, a hint of something waiting in the hidden darkness. This operation remains a technical wonder, powered by an RTG, a small nuclear generator glowing like a tiny sun deep in the darkness. The RTG uses decaying plutonium to generate electricity, feeding power to the systems that keep Voyager alive in the freezing void. Each year, it loses about 4 watts of energy, and NASA switches off unneeded instruments like lamps going dark in a quiet room. 
In 2023, engineers did something genius to save the mission. They rewired Voyager's memory, bypassing a bad ship that had failed after decades of cosmic weather. This equipment is older than many current scientists, who now study it from their lab chairs surrounded by glowing monitors, yet it still performs miraculous tasks in a place no human can ever touch. Beyond the science, Voyager 1 carries a golden record, fixed to its metal body like a shining badge of our civilization. This 12 INCH gold-plated disc holds greetings, music, and images from Earth, a gift drifting across the stars. There are recordings in 55 languages, photos of DNA spirals, wild animals, and symbols of culture, all etched into the shiny disc. It is more than science, it's a poetic message, a cry to the universe from our small blue planet, an offering to any being who might find it in the endless night. In 1990, astronomer Carl Sagan asked Voyager to look back one last time, and the spacecraft obeyed, turning its camera across countless miles of cosmic darkness. That image became the pale blue dot, showing Earth as a faint speck in a ray of golden sunlight. It reminded humanity how fragile we are, like a grain of sand drifting through an infinite ocean of blackness. Today, Voyager 1 continues speeding through space at nearly 38,000 miles per hour, its course set toward forever, gliding beyond all the planets we know. Even when its voice falls silent, Voyager will keep flying for millions of years, a quiet witness to our early dreams. As Voyager 1 moves beyond the familiar planets, it keeps teaching us that exploration never truly ends. Every piece of data it transmits feels like a delicate thread connecting us to a place no person has walked, a reminder that curiosity can push a fragile machine into an endless void and still find meaning there. Scientists on Earth gather around their screens, watching those numbers scroll in silent green letters, their faces illuminated like lanterns in the dark. Each small transmission holds more than just measurements of plasma or radiation, it holds a story about who we are and what we dare to ask. Many engineers who helped design Voyager have retired or passed on, yet their work lives in the spacecraft's gentle heartbeat, pulsing out into the cosmic ocean. Some compare Voyager to an ancient voyage by wooden ships leaving the safe harbors of known land, sails filled with winds of ambition and wonder. Today, our modern spacecraft are faster, smarter, and built from more advanced technology, but Voyager remains unmatched in its quiet endurance. It is not simply a relic of the past, it is a living testament to the idea that with enough imagination, a small object can cross the boundaries of the possible. When Voyager first crossed into interstellar space, the event was so astonishing that newspapers around the world printed headlines in large type, declaring humanity had finally touched the realm between the stars. Children cut out the articles and pinned them to bedroom walls, their dreams lit by thoughts of a machine speeding forever into the unknown. The images Voyager returned are still among the most beautiful visions of our solar system ever seen. The swirling clouds of Jupiter, with their ribbons of color and storms the size of continents, show the planet alive with endless motion. Saturn's rings, delicate as lace floating in a black sky, revealed a hidden structure of ice and rock that had been undisturbed for billions of years. Even now, as Voyager moves farther from the Sun, its cameras are long switched off, but its instruments continue to measure the invisible environment. They count cosmic rays, trace the shape of the magnetic field, and listen for vibrations in the thin plasma between stars. Each new discovery changes our understanding of what lies beyond the heliopause, that fragile border where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. The helipause itself is not a wall but a shifting barrier, like a shoreline where two oceans meet. The solar wind, a flood of charged particles from our star, collides with the thin gas drifting between the stars, creating a turbulent region full of shockwaves and ripples. 
Voyager's instruments felt that boundary in a sudden change of plasma density and a drop in solar particles, like crossing from warm water into a cold current. For scientists, that moment was proof that our sun is just one island of energy in a much larger, more mysterious sea. Voyager's journey is also a lesson in patience. It took decades to cross distances, so vast that even light itself moves at a crawl compared to the expanse. When the spacecraft finally reached interstellar space, it was moving at nearly 38,000 miles per hour, yet it still took over 35 years to leave the sun's protective bubble. This slow progress is humbling, a reminder that space is unimaginably large, and our technology, though miraculous, is still in its infancy. Yet this steady forward motion proves that even small steps, if persistent, can reach the farthest horizons. Engineers who maintain contact with Voyager now work carefully to ration its limited power. Every what matters. They turn off heaters, instruments, and transmitters one by one, like switching off lights in a house before leaving it for the last time. Despite this, the spacecraft continues to send data, proving that even in old age, it has value and strength left to give. When the final systems shut down, and Voyager's voice goes silent, it will not be a failure but a triumph, a mission lasting many times longer than its designers ever dared to predict. Even in silence, Voyager will still carry its golden record, drifting on an endless journey between stars. That record contains the hopes, music, and greetings of a species trying to say, we were here. It is a cosmic message in a bottle, and though no one knows if it will ever be found, the act of sending it was itself an act of courage. Think of the odds, an alien civilization, somewhere far away, finding this small metal disc. Perhaps they would understand the etched diagrams, the recordings of waves and laughter, the map pointing back to our tiny blue world. Perhaps they would realize that we, too, looked up into the sky and wondered if we were alone. Even if no other life finds Voyager, the record is still a reminder to ourselves, a mirror showing what humanity can create when driven by curiosity instead of fear. It proves that science is not only about gathering data but about celebrating the beauty of existence itself. When Carl Sagan first proposed the pale blue dot image, many thought it was a waste of precious fuel and time. But that single photograph became one of the most important symbols in our history, showing our home as a delicate point of light, a tiny place among countless stars. That picture taught us humility. It showed that every war, every joy, every life happened on a dot barely visible from the edge of the solar system. In that smallness, we found not insignificance but a new sense of unity, an understanding that all of humanity shares this fragile home. As scientists and engineers plan journeys to Europa, Mars, and beyond, they remember how a spacecraft built in the 1970s became the first to leave our solar neighborhood. The lessons learned from Voyager, about resilience, careful planning, and the need for imagination, live on in every new probe we send. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.